You're telling me if I go across that preposterous execution room and back without using the artifact, you'll buy me all the booze I want and find me a woman. That's what I said. No bitch or booze is worth it. That plan had death written all the fuck over it. How about if I come across a pool of magma, you offer a deal if I dive in? Man, you'd even be famous if I put this footage on YouTube. It's so absurd, people would believe it's all CGI stuff. Oh, you mean CGI like this? Exactly. Only this, you look like a lifeless 12 year old playing a single player campaign on easy for Call of Duty. The fuck is Call of Duty? How do you not know what it is? I've served in the forces for as long as I can remember. Didn't have much the opportunity to learn what's going on in a normal life. I guess that explains a lot. It was a long-running gaming franchise that was made to support the U.S. troops for over a hundred years. A fucking video game supporting U.S. troops? Sounds like a deceiving marketing strategy if you ask me. The funny thing is, it was. It was a strategy to sucker in millions of buyers to believe they'd be supporting the troops. But the funniest part is where the real money went. Shit. Company. Alright, I'll tell you about it afterwards. What's the point? I have no interest in what goes on in the gaming world. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, now! That one teleported a little too close to me. What if one of those things warped right where I'm at? I wonder the same thing. I doubt they'd get a prompt telling them their teleportation destination is preoccupied by another living thing. Maybe we'd end up merging. Instantaneous death, I'd say. But when they're coming in, they emit some force field that blows shit away. That's true. You should try walking into a swarm of warping creatures. It just knocks you all around. Man, I'd just like to walk into a space pod and get out of here. I've already got enough shit going on in my life. We've all got crap to Check deal with. Check out the condition of this elevator. What's the plan? Take it for a ride? More like a drop. That armor could come in handy since this one's got a bullet indent. Things didn't go so smoothly, huh? You're lucky I was scraped in the neck and hammered in the chest. Both by shotguns. And I'm the lucky one? Well, I guess that varies. I'm just curious how you married a heterosexual and divorced a homosexual. Or is she bisexual? Are you really getting... bisexual? I never thought about that. She was probably bi-curious. She never told you? Well, she mentioned her first kiss with another girl, but I don't think I was fully paying attention at the time. But I don't think being with two other women at the same time is considered exploring your curiosity. Curiosity or not, marriage is a sanctity bond between two souls. Fuck! And she violated that sanctity. Was that a decoy? <laughs> yeah, what you said. What? You're like the first person I heard to find marriage like that. Many say it's a thing between a man and a woman. They rewrote the definition of marriage as soon as they found out about the gay, so it suits their beliefs and justifies righteousness. Religious nutjobs calling the gay an abomination to mankind. Reality is, the, the religious, religious nutjobs, nutjobs are the, the abomination. abomination. Do you get the eerie feeling that someone's listening to you too? Fuck yeah, and I'm conversing with them about homosexuality. Oh, fuck you. At least it's a subject we're on the same page about. I don't even understand why we're discussing things like we're in a damn humanities class. It's like I'm not even trying to survive on a Martian base in the middle of an invasion. Hey, at least it keeps your mind off of things. Uh, yeah. How did we get to this subject? Your wife. 
Ah, I shouldn't have asked. You really have nothing better to do with your life. It's a Sunday afternoon. I've been keeping things updated on social networks and everyone's going nuts about the shit you're going through on Mars. The hell? This is different. Remember what I told you about zombies? Oh, hell no. He just evaporated in that stench. Are they infectious? No, they're not infected by any microorganisms. Just possessed. Wow, Fatty McCracken here can take a bullet to the face. I should probably advise you that all rules of logic don't apply to your situation. I can see that. Here, I didn't want your friend anyway. Okay, apparently you didn't either. Do we have twin fat asses here? No, I think that's the possessive aftermath. Most of the dead guys look alike, so don't be surprised. It should actually make it easier for you to spot a friend or foe. So what? You think they morph to resemble the casters? I'm in no position to argue. Like I said, nothing makes sense. Yeah, neither do you. Who's there? Uh, is he one of them? Last I checked, they don't talk. So, should I shoot him to find out? I don't know. He looks like he's about to shit his pants. Hey, you said keep away. You coming here isn't keeping me away. He's dead, dude. You know, I've actually never witnessed a zombification process. He looks like he turned without dying. That's just weird. All the more reason not to have a partner. The minute he says he's okay and you look away, he's taking a bite out of your neck. Jesus. What went on in here? Is this like an ER? Dude, if you saw what I saw, that room is considered pretty clean. This ain't about what you saw, it's what I'm seeing. You should stop comparing so I can stay on track of what I'm supposed to be doing. And what are you supposed to be doing? Exactly, I don't know. All I know is I'm incoherently going to take this power cell for no reason, observe this blackout I would probably put my life in even more danger, and walk off with another stolen PDA that I have no idea why I picked up. And what's up with the static? What? You got nothing to say? Either we lost connection or he disconnected. It doesn't matter. What matters is I hit a fucking dead end and I don't know where I'm supposed to go. And if I'm gonna come by three bodies, I may as well use them so they don't surprise me so quickly. Or not at all, which is probably much more preferred. I said no surprises is more preferred. Alright, oh, a storage cabinet, and I just picked up a PDA. The only PDA in sight, so the code's gotta be in here. And if it's not, then I will take every single frag grenade I have on stock, bury them all around this cabinet, and blow this whole fucking facility sky high- Oh, there it is. Still, blowing the shit out of this place doesn't sound like a bad idea. Okay, I think I need to blow the shit out of this place. There ain't Jack here. Oh wait, I remember now. There was a security door I couldn't get through, so maybe this PDA has access to it. If not, I could try bashing the window in with the butt of a gun. And... there was also a dysfunctional elevator? Aw, oh, fuck me, did I overlook the foreshadowing of my demise? Oh hell no, you wait till I exit the elevator! What if one of these moments the elevator door opens and there's like a dozen guards aiming the firearms at me? 
That would probably be a painless way to go, actually. Alright, now here's that secure door. And it worked. I did see one guy get thrown out a window, so I bet I could have picked something up with the grabber and launched it at one of the windows to bust through. Another PDA and another free soul. Now, I don't know which way to go. I think I'll try going this way first. Damn you, buzzer. Nothing screams out, ACCESS DENIED! Any clearer and condescending than that. Oh, man, it reeks in here. Hmm. You know what? This place is starting to look pretty familiar. And that guy didn't have a head. Yeah, I think I've been here once before. Scavenge the place, but usually it takes me a few trips to actually know my way around. I hate how there aren't any signs or guides. Oh, I know this place, except this time I don't have to abide by the rules by not taking this shit. Oops, a little trigger happy. I guess breaking the rules can be fun. Now that I think about it, I don't really have any rules to follow up here. It's all about survival. Well, more like finding my way out of here and getting back to Earth. And there's the bitch and the rest of the turd that seem to be rather more interested in learning about this artifact I picked up instead of leaving Mars. I'm only going to them because I chose to. Okay, yeah. I have to get through there. I know where I'm at now, but for God's sake, who just flipped on the gas? I think the control room is in here. Hopefully it won't be a steep learning curve to straighten things out. Hey, here we go. I did good to avoid the elevator earlier. No amount of armor would protect me from a fall like that. Does everything run on these power cells? It's probably a better alternative than some central power source. Oh wait, but this POS needs two power cells. Damn it all. Well, I was fortunate to snag one from the ER room. But now I gotta find a secondary power cell. If someone took it into that gas chamber, I'm gonna have a fit. <laughs>